You're watching Tim's Take Live, and I'm your host, Tim Black. Can white people be terrorists? I'm serious. Can white people be terrorists? Because what happened in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, looks like an act of terror. He terrorized these people, and then he shot and killed them. Three people. Three promising young people with futures. Now, they want to say that it has something to do with a parking space. I'm not buying that shit. I'm just not. Here, take it back. I don't want to buy it. I'm not purchasing it. I'm not going to bring it home with me. Keep your bullshit story. Because, see, in my opinion, the initial conflict may have been something to do with a parking space. But since the murder happened in their home, I'm wondering what the hell... Unless we're now parking cars inside the house. Obviously, this man's hate drove him to kill these people. Now, you want to say it's not based on religion. The fact that they were Muslim. I beg to differ. He's got all over his social media. Negative talk about Christians. Negative talk about Muslims. There you go. That's enough for me. That's enough for me to draw a conclusion. Now, my atheist friends are pissed off. Oh, man. See, they like blaming all of Muslims for when a Muslim does something. But they do not want you to blame all of atheists when an atheist does something because they say they have no ruler, they have no leader. Someone please tell the amazing atheist that. You know what I mean. Bill Maher. Tell Bill Maher that. TJ's going to like how I put his name in there with Bill Maher. Gives him credibility. So wear it, fuckhead. Wear the fucking jacket of guilt. Because you're part of the problem. Your radical preachings of no preaching of hate for religion. Can make a nut job do this. But you know what? I don't like the term nut job as it concerns this guy. You know why? We can call him a scumbag. Let's not call him a nut job. Because see, that's what they want to do. They always make these white guys seem like they're crazy. White guys know how to play it up too. Like the guy who shut up the movie theater. Looking all crazy and shit. Why is it that they get to claim crazy all the damn time? Whenever a black guy does something, that crazy shit never works for him. He's a gangbanger. Not crazy. He knew what he was doing. Did the motherfucker know how to do like this? He ain't crazy. That's how they look at it when black guys do shit. Same thing with Latinos. Same thing with Arabs. My Islamic brothers, they get the same treatment. Why is it Muslims are never crazy? Never say, those guys are crazy. You always say, those guys are Muslim. They're radical fundamentalist Muslim killers. So, you know what? If the shoe fits, lace it up and wear it, bitch. That's what it looks like to me. Let's get the names of these victims that this dog man killed. Murdered. Dia Shadi Barakat, Yusor Muhammad, and Razan Muhammad Abu Salha. Now, Yusor and Dia were just married in December, so they were newlyweds. So this fuckhead, Mr. Hicks, decided to give them the gift of death. I've heard people say, if you're a true Muslim, you don't die, you just change their addresses. That's an interesting concept. Beautiful concept, actually, if you believe that. But this motherfucker Hicks should not be the one handing out the pink slip or the moving notification or the eviction notice. Okay, so mainstream media has been dragging their feet about covering the case. I don't know why. They do the same thing. But you know what? They do the same thing with police. Police stories, they... Yeah, I don't know if we want to put that out there right now, buddy. Uh, kind of bad time to be talking about bad cops. Let's keep it down. Keep it down. Did we get a cop killing? Yes. Put that out there everywhere. Out there everywhere. Look, look. Cop killing, cop killing, cop killing. That's what they do. It's all a game. Cover the stories equally, bastards. Me, I... 
I would have did this story yesterday, but I tell you, man, it was just such a sad story. Look at those three faces of these three young people. 23, 21, and 19. Two of them sisters. And thinking about the anguish, the pain that the father suffered, I just, I just did a story about a father who goes berserk and kills two of his kids and his ex-wife, himself, and her new boyfriend. I'm like, God, I'm becoming the death channel. If you are a spouse going through this, that your husband committed this act, killed these people, murdered these people, um, do not hold press conferences, you dumbass, talking about shit you don't know. He was over a parking space. He did not commit a hate crime. How would you know? Were you there? Were you there? If so, lock this bitch up too. He was over a parking space. Damn you, Tim Black. Really? Okay. It was over a parking space because they were Muslim. Same thing.